Okay, so I finally figured out this Atom Stacks uh, A5 Pro uh, laser engraver, and I'm only doing wood for the moment because um, it took me a while to find what the driver is called a CH340. I'll put in the description as far as how to run this properly. Um, this is the measurement of the uh, the wood piece right here. Uh, this is my fume extractor that I use for my uh, soldering iron. Um, I didn't go do too deep because it does produce quite a bit of smoke so I would highly suggest either have like a I don't know if you want to build like a container on top with like a better um, air circulation if not you're gonna have to do this like in a garage where or it's not going to set up the smoke detector setting up you know this whole thing isn't the issue um, it's I knew it was gonna be about the software and you know these things are somewhat open source um, this uh, program called Lightburn that they suggest using I'm using a trial um, but once you figure it out it kind of makes sense um, as far as cutting it is concerned you hit this cut and for wood they recommend that you could go pretty fast I did 80% so basically the power would um, determine the laser power but the speed also is important because 3000 it you know just scans real quick or I, I should say the laser is basically burning quickly if you put this to like 50 it goes in deeper and it's going to create more smoke so it really depends on the type of uh, material material that you're using um, if you want to do like fill I'm doing only at uh, the line because this uh, test here which I'm going to show you in a second um, I only need it once and I was able to finally get this so once I hit start and I'm not looking at the laser because I'm not wearing my uh, safety glasses, but it does come with it. It's very quick, but I don't know if you can see, but there is some smoke already coming out. So once you learn how this software works, as you can see, very, very clean line. I'm sure there are other laser engravers out there that can do more powerful cutting and engraving, but... I'm going to play around with it a little more because this will be awesome to make signs and, you know, um, just like giftable items, you know, for like Christmas and whatnot. So I'm pretty happy with the purchase. It just, I knew it was going to take a while for me to learn. Setting this up is a uh, no-brainer. Um, it does tell you to cut this belt, but I did it on purpose just in case I need to, um, you know, tighten the belt here. But um, it's working great so far. Uh, this is the Windows 10 and... Um, Again, look for that driver. I'm going to put in the description and the review as far as what to get first so you're not looking for it forever like I was doing. Even though the uh, the manual mentioned to go certain places, but I could never find it, so I had to Google it. But outside of that, um, yeah, this is going to be a, a really fun toy to uh, do some engraving. And I'm going to see if I can do some thin aluminum as well.